Welcome to Coffee Break 5 Minutes with God, 5 Minutes in the Word of God, 5 Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. James chapter 1 verse 20, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. And God is talking about sinful anger. He has already said in the previous verse that we are to be slow to wrath. Sinful anger just makes things worse. Sinful anger never solves problems. It just makes bad problems worse and creates brand new problems. And it doesn't work the righteousness of God. You're not walking in the Spirit when you are engaging in sinful anger. You are being destructive to your own spiritual life, probably to the lives around you, and certainly to the cause of Christ. 21. Wherefore, put away all filthiness and overthrowing of overflowing of wickedness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. If one does not put away filthiness, if they do not put away wickedness, then they are not receiving with meekness the word of God which is able to save their souls. And remember, this is written to Christians. This is written to Christians which means putting away rebellion, filthiness, wickedness, sin, and humbling oneself before God must be a continuous thing. It's not a one-time thing that happens when you pray the sinner's prayer. If a person starts tolerating sin as a Christian, then God becomes less and less important to them until he isn't even an issue anymore. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a slow road to apostasy and eternal damnation. That's what happens. A A Christian starts tolerating sin, Comes used to it, doesn't really confess it anymore, doesn't repent of it anymore. And as that happens, God becomes less and less important until he's not even an issue anymore. Faith is no longer present. And since faith saves, salvation is not there either. 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. Some so-called Christians think they're in good shape with God because they know the Bible. They know the stories. They know all about Goliath and David. They know all about Noah's Ark. Some people think they're in good shape with God because they've gone to church. And the preacher or the priest or whoever reads from the Bible. Hearing and knowing the Word of God is wonderful. But if that's where it stops, if that's all there is, then those people who think that they're just fine because they hear the Bible are deceived. Knowing the Bible is step one. Step two, according to the Word of God, right here is to do it. The Word of God has to be applied Anyone who thinks that they are fine simply because they know the truth has been lulled to sleep spiritually. There's going to be people in hell. There are people in hell right now who have good theology. They were very orthodox in their beliefs, but they never acted on them. Hell will include many people who believe that Jesus died for their sins. The problem is they never repented and made Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. Jesus said, the servant who knew his master's will but did not do it will be punished with many stripes. Some of the hottest places in hell are reserved for people like that. Study the word of God with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's word. Click the donate button at the top of the front page at the Bible.
versebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.